rather play Mask. Let's just play Mask. Sweet MVP. Fucking Princess White. Choose now and I can choose later? Exactly. Exactly. Leaving my options open. Hello? Timer? What are you doing? <laughs> With the free roll, do I just take the Lonely Prince? I think I do. But I just don't want anything that isn't a princess shop. I get so many looks. anyway. I'm not gonna take two. I'm just gonna hit. Just like that. A lot of looks. I don't know. It's not that hard to hit. I could lock this, and then if we hit Princess White, we get to buy two tinies alongside Princess White. Actually, that fills my board. I have a baby root. It's like kind of okay. Interesting. Pair gaming on the fates. Lock candy ring. Uh, I guess for the Shadow Assassin. Not crazy. I don't know. I've got a full board. There's a lot of spells that I don't mind casting. Like, XP here is honestly fine. Yeah, pretty happy with how this turned out. Oh, yeah, it's the first unit you buy after turning into Fates. It's a pretty common thing where you dream into fates at six and like buy an Ashwood Elm. One of the better dream targets. You're just gonna be a little too slow at six. But when you got time. Take the fancy pants and like buy the vein pyre so I have a slay unit going. Scale my SA a little bit. I don't think I'm locking these going into four. I guess this doesn't actually change anything. I still want to be doing this. Never bad moon, never bad moon.
third spell weaver, by the way. Just pointing that out. Stones. I could just play this and skip it. I'm probably just staying Fates all game. Uh, I guess there's a chance at six. I want to change. I'm kind of leaning on the three three from it though. Pretty big for the SA. Now we want Bad Moon. <laughs> no, we still don't really want Bad Moon. I have very little respect for Vainfire or for a. Uh, Bad moon. Okay, worked out. I have an awkward map. And that's why. That was intentional. Definitely meant to fancy pants that chicken. I would never make such a silly mistake. There were a lot of buys that would have been really cool there if I didn't waste my fancy pants. <laughs> for it. There are better things to chew. There are better things to uh, pants. I really want to like pair the Beasting Dragon. There's probably nothing that I lock for other than Feasting Dragon, but there's plenty of stuff that I'd buy. Like I would have bought the Friendly Spirit if I didn't waste the Fancy Pants. I probably would have bought this Lady of the Lake. I'd buy a Sporko. Just with the Fancy Pants wasted, I'd rather just try to dig for my pairs. Well, my pair. Bigger than frog. Oh, it is a 6 6, right? Yeah. That's funny. Oh, we win. Yeah, I don't really want you. There's just so many better things. And like, we rolled over a lot of those better things because we wasted the fancy pants. Well, time to hit neons, I guess. Got a rough time against a bunch of summons. Ow. that I can try to pair. Students are watching. <laughs> Interesting. Hello. Even the Morgan. Yeah, maybe I should just dream soon. I don't know. 
just don't have that many upgrades. Really nice yoink. Oh. Uh, okay, maybe not a really nice yoink. That's a really nice yoink. Good health. Come on. I can rope this. We can take Pan Shadow next turn. I'll have the 3 3 on my board this turn. Tortoise! No. No tortoise. Oh my god, it's front row court wizard. Oh, it's a bot. Okay, I was a little confused. The more I looked at the board, the less sense it made. Oh, yeah, we're gonna take Shadow. Let's grab my level 7 treasure. Take my Holy Grail for next turn. Um, and just play whatever is tempo. to get my APM ready. <laughs> Holy girl, such a silly treasure. Silly, silly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd just win from here as long as Pants doesn't kill me. Usually how Grail works. Yeah, my shortcut's turned on. Oh no, hand space. That summon's so bad for me. It's gonna cost me like a third of a second. Well, see you, Pants. Uh, it depends. Pants upgrades a lot of things. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Uh, sure. Uh, sure. I yeah, probably should have been a Magnic Stone. Whatever. Whatever. Um, pretty much nice juice upgrade. In case I need it. Hey, Gepetto. Should probably be one of the burning trees in the Ambro. <laughs> but uh I don't think it matters for some reason. 
just seems a little bit irrelevant. Oh, hey, a Radiant Prism. I just want Lordy, right? I just want to get Lordy. Oh, good boy. Good boy gets scammed. Lordy doesn't. Goose has no clue what's about to hit him. Yeah. Oh, I could also buy Pumpkin. That's true. Then if we get, like, Pumpkin Court Wizard, sure. That's funny enough. No, my Doom Breath! What the fuck? Hey, MC. Okay... It's been fun. Time to die, Gepetto. Time to die. Good boy seems like unnecessary much attack. It buffs the burning tree too. So it gives health to the burning tree. And the echo woods. It's just the problem with good boy is it gets Dusa and Pig Ode and shit. Has to go in slot one. He's really lucky he might have two bear steams. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I feel like everyone acknowledges the map is the best treasure in the game. The disagreement on what the prescription of what to do with map is, whether it's like fine that it's the best treasure or if something needs to be done. Or anything other than trees. Uh, if you don't have Pan Shadow, yeah. You're like picking up direction level 6 units and you can actually have a kind of difficult turn as you try to figure out what you need to buy to get a board together. You can't really just force trees. You're trying to, but if you force it too hard, you can miss and lose. You're trying to hedge while you grail. 